Okay guys, I'm here today to talk about the uh, Top Line Manufacturing Ink um, uh, Bike Rack. Okay, the website boasts uh, that uh, this unit uh, requires no drilling or screwing, and along with the, manu uh, with the uh, person I bought it from, actually from uh, Amazon. Uh, the unit costs about $110, and uh, we're going to see how it works on my uh, 2011 uh, Toyota Tacoma. Okay, you can see the parts here. Uh, you have the clamp here that is to put onto the bed rail uh, of your truck. You have the, uh, uh, the initial arm that hooks into the clamp and onto one bicycle. Also included is this funny little uh, round, I don't know, about three inch diameter um, plastic cap. Uh, and the instructions that, uh, the instructions read that that is for um, if you have an over the rail bed liner in your truck, you'll have to drill a hole um, in your uh, bed liner. And this is uh, what you use to plug that hole when you're not using the bike rack. Uh, interesting that uh, both the manufacturer and the distributor told me that I would not have to do any drilling to install this um, uh, this unit and uh, first thing you notice out of the package is a cap for the hole you're going to have to drill. Okay, the first uh, problem I'm having is that there's really no way to clamp this unit on to this truck. Uh, you can uh, put the bottom part of the clamp in the rail like that and then um, tighten down the eye bolt and we'll see how well that works. Okay, I've got this unit uh, hooked onto the truck here and um, after studying it quite a lot, uh, this is really the only way I can see that uh, this thing would at all reasonably clamp onto the side of uh, this particular truck. Uh, these Tacomas have, do have a bed liner here. It doesn't really allow access to the underside of the, the rail of the truck. So let's take a look at this. How well does this work? So you can see uh, the clamp here uh, with the eye bolt provided. Uh, the clamp rests on this little lip. Um, so on the top at least there's not a very good uh, amount of surface area touching the, tr the uh, truck, the railing of the truck. On the underside, the bottom side of the clamp is actually pushing up on the rail uh, that comes from the factory here uh, on the Tacoma. So Definitely not a good uh, clamped connection. Uh, I got the bike hooked up here, and let me see what happens. The bike a little bit, and you can see the, the movement here. Um, it's really pretty terrible. I don't think I would trust this uh, going down the highway at 70 mile an hour. Um, uh, so we're going to try to figure out another uh, solution here. Okay, guys, I'm still here uh, trying to figure out a way to get this top line manufacturing. Um, bike rack installed in my 2011 Tacoma. Just for purposes of the demonstration, I have removed the uh, little uh, inset uh, and you can see that with the railing that comes standard from the factory on this truck, uh, there's still really no way to make this work. Um, I do have it clamped on right now. It's not very solid. Uh, it's at an angle like you can see and the top and bottom of the clamp are not pressing, you know, straight down. You could probably make it work this way, uh, but I'm not sure it gets a really good hold, particularly when you start talking about stacking, you know, two or three bikes onto this system. Um, so the whole point of this uh, clip is to warn us that if you do drill a hole in your factory uh, plastic bed liner in anticipation that this thing is going to work, um, it's probably not, so I would uh, shy away from uh, drilling the hole. Alright, uh, one idea I had was to purchase a longer eye bolt. So I went down to the hardware and, and purchased this uh, little guy right here. He's about an inch longer, maybe an inch and a half longer than the one that came with the unit. Um, still, this is the best clamping I can possibly get. Uh, again, there's not much surface contact here. Uh, and, and the two parts of the clamp are, are, are pushing against one another like this, against the rails of the truck, not over one another. Um, so it's not a good contact. If I wiggle the bike, you can see there's a lot of wiggle room there. 
Uh, and I'm beginning to think this uh, unit is just not going to work. Uh, a few ideas. The first is that I can send it back to the uh, seller on Amazon. Uh, the problem is that I think this is a fantastic idea to not have to remove your front tire and to be able to just uh, snap your bike uh, in the back of the truck. Okay, another idea I had is that I could just take a metal cutoff and zip that little guy off right there, that little lip. That would lower the top half of the clamp down onto the truck bed. Would also make a little bit of a better connection uh, right uh, between the top and the bottom parts of the clamp. Uh, possibly giving me a better hold, a better grip. Uh, of course, if I do that, then I will um, be risking the $110 I paid for this. I will not be able to send it back after I cut on it. So when I make a decision uh, what to do, I'll uh, finish this video and we'll uh, see how it works. Okay, so we're back here. Um, I decided, because I like the idea of being able to put your bikes in the truck without taking the wheels off, um, I decided not to send this thing back for a refund. Um, instead, I modified it a little bit, and I'm going to go over with you the modifications here that I did. Um, you may remember I showed uh, there was a little lip on the top part of this clamp here that was sticking down. Um, I actually took my metal cut off, and I cut that lip off and used my uh, angle grinder with a metal uh, sanding wheel and smoothed off the surface. Uh, and uh, clamp this thing down. Well, now, uh, after making this modification, I have a very solid, tight uh, contact there on the surface. Um, the bikes absolutely are not moving, despite me shaking them. Um, this is a solid setup. Front tires here are uh, secured with these straps. There's two of these that came with the kit. I'm shaking it right now as I uh, talk to you guys, and it, they are not moving. Okay, I want to recap. So on my 2011 Tacoma, here are the modifications I made to make this thing work. The metal cut off and cut off the lip on this part of the clamp. Uh, and so it give me more uh, surface there to, to uh, in contact with the actual truck bed rail. Okay? Uh, modification number two. The eye bolt that came with this thing is just too short. So I bought a a uh, longer eye bolt. I got that at the hardware for a couple of bucks or a buck twenty or something. All right, and that made a better connection. Uh, modification number three. So this thing straight from the factory comes with an eye bolt and two nuts. I don't have a lot of faith in that system, so I made this modification here. I just on my longer eye bolt, I used uh, one nut. You can see I have a washer there going against the uh, clamp to give a little better surface contact, and in between there's a lock washer. And then on the underside, kind of difficult to see, um, this is a nut here. This is a nylon uh, locking nut. So the inside of that uh, is coated with nylon and it's absolutely not going to come unscrewed. Uh, so overall review for this product is um, I did make it work on the 2011 Tacoma. Uh, again, I think it's a terrific idea to be able to put your bikes in the truck without removing the wheels. And um, I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this. Um, if you are expecting it to work straight from the factory uh, and or you're expecting it to be exactly as described, it is not. Uh, so uh, you guys, uh, if anybody uh, has any input, I'd love to see your videos. Um, otherwise, I would recommend this product uh, so long as you're willing to modify it to make it work.